What's up everybody, Venthros back here with another, uh, with the second tutorial in my series here. Um, hopefully uh, you were, you stuck around for the first video. I know it was 20 minutes long and it's uh, quite a bit longer than I had anticipated. So uh, let's get right into it here and try to keep this, um, keep the time down. Um, open up your tutorial project if you haven't, or if you want to, you can go ahead and pause the video until you get something like this on your map. Just a small island with a couple trees and some mountains, um, you know, uh, or or whatever. We're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to place a town here, and in order to do that, we're going to go over here to where the tiles are, and we're going to see how that has a, a B tab. We're going to click on the B, and this gives you some other things that you can put in your world, in your maps here. Um, all different kinds of uh, big castles, evil, creepy looking castles, uh, and so forth and so on. We're just going to put a small town in there. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, I think we're just going to put, um, I don't know, we'll put this one on here on the far left. Um, one thing to know is that this town is actually two squares long. So what you could do, you could click on the left square and place it and then click on the right square and place it um, you could do it that way but what I you know one of the cool things about this is that you can actually click and drag and notice how the square uh, the rectangle encompasses the whole tile so now you can place the whole tile at once pretty neat huh and then uh, yeah we'll make like a little pathway here to the town we're going to draw a pathway here to this cave because eventually we're going to go from the town to where this cave is going to be alright so now what do you do I mean if you play test it right now you're going to walk into the town and nothing's going to happen see you're just you're in the town but nothing is happening so what do you do well what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here and see where it says field we're gonna right click and we're gonna add a new map now you could do it one of two ways you can you can um, if you right click on field and add a map the new map will be a child of field see how it kind of goes underneath here um, I don't like to do that that's just my per my personal preference so what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a tutorial project new map and we're gonna call the town I don't know let's think of a generic name uh, Townville all right it's not the most creative name. You can name it whatever you want. And we act, this time we're actually going to put Townville in here because we want the character. We want a little a little pop up to come up and tell us where we are. So we're going to use the exterior tile set. And for now, let's just keep it the same, 17 by 13. All right. Uh, and we're going to want to change the background music to have a town song. So let's try town one. That song is ridiculous. I'm not using that. God, which one is it? Alright, we'll use the crazy jazz funk town, uh, town song. Uh, in future tutorials, I'll show you how you can import your own songs if you're a musician. Um, I, I actually, that's what I specialize in, and all of my projects have all of my own music. I don't use any of the uh, provided songs. Okay, so we have Townville. Townville is our little town. Okay? Right now, it, it looks like this because... Uh, you know, there's nothing here. So let's, you know, you, you can get creative with it. Um, I'm just going to do all grass. Um, 
Oops, had my flood fill tool still in. I'm gonna draw like a little path that kind of goes like this. And you kind of have it branch off because we're gonna put a small house here, a small house here, and a small house here. Okay, um, so if you look at these tiles here, they're kind of grouped in such a way. These are all like your ground tiles that go on the floor. This section here. I wish I could kind of draw like circles and stuff um, to make it easier. And this next section is different kind of house tiles. So we're not going to get too crazy. We're going to use uh, this section, the blue and the brick right underneath. And you can see, you click and drag. And you got, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go like this. And make the roof a little bigger. Like that. Alright, now look. This isn't, uh, you know. <laughs> like I said in the first tutorial, this isn't professional map making 101. Alright, this is just so, uh, you know, you, got, you, got, you guys can get an idea of what to do here. Um, and then we're going to have another house. Let's do it with a red kind of brick. And you can, you know, play around with them, you know, do what you want here. But in the end, you want three houses, okay? And, you know, these aren't going to be, uh, I'm not going to win designer of the year with these houses by any means. But, um, you know, we just want, a, there you go. Okay, so we got our three houses here. Um, you know, and you can, you can get creative, you know, you can, you know, do like a little fence around the house if you want. Um, you know, this map isn't really big enough to have a lot of fences, but, you know, you could do something like that if you want. Alright, so now what we want to do is we have, we have our town. Um, you know, I haven't put any doorways in here yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. But for now, I'm going to go over here to field. I'm going to click field. And we are going to add an event to these two town blocks that allows us to go from this map to the town. So we're going to go up here to event editing mode, or you can press F6. And now everything is in nice little blocks. So let's click on the, on the first town block to where it's highlighted. And you can do it a couple different ways. You can right click and hit new event. You can press enter, or you can double click in the box. Alright, so this is the event screen. Okay? You can do it one of two ways. You can go through all this crap, right? You, you can name the event, you can you can do all this stuff. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to go down here to quick event creation. Okay? Um, the powers that be decided, hey, look, these are the four things that most people are going to be doing all the time. So let's make a quick event creation uh, menu for these four things. Transfer, door, treasure chest, and in. They're all pretty common things if you play an RPG. I mean, you know, you transfer from area to area a lot. You open a lot of doors, so forth and so on. So the event we want to create is a transfer because we're transferring from the field map to Townville. So... Let's click transfer, and now it, it, it's asking you destination. All right, well, we don't want to transfer to the field because we're already on the field. So we're going to click the little dot here. All of your maps are going to be listed here on the left. So click on Townville, and we want the, we want the, and, and now you can click an area where you want it to where you want your character to come in at. Alright, we're gonna click right here. That square right there. And as you can see the coordinates are right here. Okay. So that looks good. We'll hit OK. Direction. Uh, retain means since you um, Whatever direction you come into the event at, when you get to the next part, you're going to face the same way. But we want to always face up. 
because you're going up into the town because you could come you could come into the event from the left here and when you go into the event and you go into town if you hit direction retain your character's going to be facing the right even though the town is up so we want the direction to be up okay and then that's it those are the two things you have to change or define when you do a transfer event so we're gonna hit OK and as you can see now I'm gonna click out of there you can see that this block here this square here it ha now has like a gray square inside it that lets you know that that square has an event tied to it what we're gonna do though is we want to be able to go into either one of these blocks to trigger the event to go into the town so we're gonna right click copy that copies the event we're gonna click on this square hit paste now the same event is in both squares and we're gonna test it out so we're gonna do our play test save changes yes now I'm gonna go into the town from the left and as you can see the character is now facing north okay so there we go and I don't know if you saw the townville pop up on the side of the screen so now what we have to do is um, we have to go into the townville map and we have to create an event here that allows us to leave to leave uh, townville to go back to the map so what are we gonna do we're gonna quick create an event transfer we don't want to go to Townsville we want to go back to the field so we're gonna go over here click field and let's say we come back right here so we'll click OK direction retain that's uh, we're gonna face down and click OK now you can have it to where any you know this is the only square that'll trigger the event but that's not very realistic so we're gonna copy this and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my arrow keys and control V the event. So now So now if you walk in any of these squares, you're exiting Townville and going back to the map. Let's try. All right. So you can see on the upper left hand corner, Townville pops up. So we know that worked properly. And let's go to let's leave. And now we're back to the field map. Awesome, it worked. All right. So that that's a good place to stop for right now. We created a simple event by right clicking and using a quick event creation to transfer between two maps. In the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to create some doors. And uh, actually, we're going we're gonna to make an inn, a house, and a weapon, uh, a weapon shop. And in the house, we're going to have somebody tell us uh, some more about our tutorial quest. Um, so thanks for coming, uh, checking out this second video in the series of videos uh, about RPG Maker VX Ace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, my name is Venthros, and thanks for watching.